Hello, I'm Archibald Chesterfield III and welcome to the Archie Luxury Program. And today I'd like to talk about, I'd like to talk about why, why Archie did you suddenly buy another Omega Speedmaster man on the fucking moon, man on the fucking moon. Why did I buy another one when I just acquired a vintage piece? And the answer is simple. The answer is simple. See, what had actually happened is, is that I, um, I bought a vintage, a 90s, early 90s, um, early 90s fuckers, early 90s, 861 movement, uh, speedy. And, uh, I was just trolling around the internet like you do, you casually do. And uh, I saw this super minty piece, which had just come up from one of the Melbourne watch dealers. Watchtime.com.au, I think it was. And I was talking to my friend Brian, Brian from Zircon. And uh, Brian said, hey, Arch, there's a really nice speedy. I said, okay. I said to him, hey, it's box." papers, everything. And it's not that I was disappointed with my Speedy I bought, but I just thought, oh, fuck. Box papers, minty new. Now, some collectors out there, they like minty new glittery pieces, <coughs> like me. Other people would say, no, 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 no. I want the vintage one. The 861 movement piece is much more desirable than the 1861, which is basically a rhodium plated version of the movement instead of the uh, the non rhodium plate, which looks goldy in colour. And it's got the vintage bracelet. It's a better piece, and probably for collectability it is. But I like new, bright, shiny fuckers. Bright, new, shiny fuckers. And I thought, oh, Fuck, it's so nice. And uh, anyhow, Brian went and got it for me. And uh, yeah, that's what happened. Now, I'd actually offered my Omega Speedmaster Man on the Moon. I'd offer, offered it casually to a guy in Brisbane. This is Justin. He's the guy who had the BMW, BMW Z4. I made a video about that. He's also the guy who I bought my... Jaeger La Culture Reverso Tribute to 1931. And he said, hey, he's looking for a Speedy. And I offered it to him. I offered it to him for about $3,400. And he said, yep, he'll take it. However, his girlfriend's got a Volkswagen Polo GTI. And the engine's just exploded. As the Volkswagen 1.4 engine does. Little fuckers that they are. And he suddenly, he, he said, oh, look, I don't know whether they're going to cover it under warranty or whether I've got to uh, get it. He said, if you've got another buyer, sell it. So uh, my friend Gregory Kinder, I hadn't even listed it for sale. I just, I just mentioned it to Greg Kinder in passing. And Greg said, I'll buy it at cost. And... Uh, I'd ordered an extra link for it. I said, look, Greg, I, I've, I've, uh, the dollars come and bit me. When I bought it, it was supposed to, the watch was supposed to be 2 9 ish It blew out over three, and I'd already or organized an extra link because the bracelet was a bit short. I said, look, um, as long as you're happy to pick it up, sure, you can have it. That's fine. No worries. And uh, that's, <coughs> that's what I did. <clears throat> I, I'm kind of a bit sad. I really wanted to keep the two speedies at the same time, but it's one of these things. I um, It's probably better. I mean, how many fucking speedies do you need? Um, I would have liked to have kept the two because I've just sent it off for polishing. I would have liked to have kept the two speedies. And it's going to really... I love the patina dial. The patina dial. As soon as I've sold it, I'm starting to fall in love with the other the other Speedy. And uh, I'm just thinking to myself, fuck it, fuck it, 
fuck it, you know, I should have, maybe I should have kept it a bit longer. Enjoyed the patina dial. I could have put the fucker onto a really cool NATO leather strap. You know, really the distressed leather look. I thought it would have been so fucking cool. And uh, anyhow, fuckers, anyhow, Kinder was so quick to swoop. He, I, I said, oh, I haven't even thought about selling it, Greg. I just, uh, I offered it to someone at 3-4, but he just swooped in there like a magpie. Swoop. He swooped in there and I thought, oh, 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 uh, before you know, I fucking sold it. I'd sold the fucking thing. And uh, it's all, <coughs> it works out well. It works out well because um it's 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 it works out well kinder's got three three two-tone he's got the two-tone sub two-tone gmt two-tone daytona he wants something a little bit casual the speedy fits that bill and he's got rid of some garbage he bought he got rid of some garbage um to pay for that which is fine uh, no offense if you've bought that garbage. That is minty garbage to you, fuckers. And uh, yeah, so that's that's how it's gone. Now I'm, I'm a little bit disappointed. I sold it so I didn't intend to sell it, but anyhow, it's all happened. It's all going great. So um, yeah, that's the story with the that's the story, fuckers, with the speedy. So nothing was wrong with that speedy. I just I kind of regret selling it to Greg like that, but it, it'll balance out because I'm going to use that money to reduce my credit card. That needs to be done, Archie. Credit card is evil. All credit cards are evil. They derive their power from Satan the devil. Amen. So, uh, fuckers, that's, 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 that's the, the modus operandi. I hope you can understand why I've fallen in love with my speedy, speedy fuckers. I'm Archibald Chesterfield III. Tell me what you maggoty, nasty, mangy fuckers think of that. Nice one, Arch. Great vid.
we specialize here in pre-owned Rolex watches. Rolex watch is a very special timepiece and we always do the servicing exactly as factory specifications. We buy a pre-owned piece and we put it into brand new condition. We have Rolex certified technicians working on that. We completely disassemble the piece, we adjust and polish and change every single part of the watch. You have to have certified watchmakers that know what they're doing. If you have an expensive car, you're just not going to bring it to any mechanic that doesn't know what they're doing. You spent $5,000, it's like if you put money in the safe deposit box. And one or two years from now, you will keep having your $5,000. We have to spend a lot of money to get all this equipment together, but makes me feel I'm doing what I'm supposed to do. It's not a question of money, it's my passion. Jewelers on time, simply the best.